Hi lovelies, I'm makeup artist Billy, and here's my tutorial on Asian Indian party makeup. Um, please have a look at my other videos that I have done which are on my page and let me know if you do want to see any other looks. Please subscribe and check out my website which is www.muabillie.com that's muabilly.com and let me know what you think. Thanks guys. Okay, so the first thing I do is moisturise my face and after moisturising I prime my face. Today I'm using Revlon Photo Ready Prime and Anti Shine. It's pretty good, it's in a kind of block thing so when you put it on your skin it feels like the Benefit Pool Professional which is really good and it does stay on for a long time. Because I have combination skin I like to make sure that I put enough on my T-zone so that's my nose and my forehead. They get really shiny, my upper lip and my chin are quite bad as well. I do prime the rest of my face just so that it gives a flawless finish when I've applied my foundation. So because I have dark circles under my eyes and I really, really, really hate it, um, I have to colour correct. So I use LA Girl, the Pro Conceal HD concealer. I use the orange one. I use a tiny, tiny amount because a little goes a long way and it's really 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 pigmented. I'm using Urban Decay Naked Skin in shade 4.5 and I'm just going to apply a few dots all around my face before I use my Morphe brush to blend it all in. Sorry guys I don't have my brushes with me to give you the numbers but what I will do is put them in the description box below. So once I've used my brush to kind of put on my foundation, I will go in with a beauty blender and just bounce it on top of my face. This gives it more of a kind of airbrushed and flawless finish and also because Urban Decay I find oxidises slightly, it taps it into your skin so it doesn't look, um, the shade doesn't change that much. So do make sure your beauty blender is damp when you're doing this. Um, another useful tip is just to spray it with a little bit of setting spray so it helps to kind of push all that makeup into your skin. So we're going to go and prep the eyes. I'm just using Colour Tattoo by Maybelline. It lasts for 24 hours. It's an eyeshadow but I'm just using it as a base because I do find that it is quite good and it does stay in your eyes. I'm using the shade Barely Beige. You can use your brush or your fingers, um, whatever you feel comfortable with. I'm using a brush because I like to spread it before I warm it up with my fingers and just kind of blend it all out. I'm really sorry but the MAC palette that I'm using this red from I don't have any other details on it because it's all rubbed off but it's a MAC Ombre palette 05 but you can use any red and what I'm doing is getting my Morphe brush and just drawing a little bit over the crease into a V shape on the side of my eye. So what I'm doing is just going in and filling in a little bit of the V shape using that same brush and whatever's left on it just to give it a bit more colour. So I'm using Sleek Eye Divine Original. They've got some brilliant greens in there and because it's mineral powder it's so easy to work with and so nice. So I'm using the shimmery green and I'm going into the lid and blending it in a little bit into the V that we've created but not too much but I'm making sure that the lid's covered. Using a fluffy brush, going with Barry M's Dazzle Dust 47 Deep Copper just to smoke out the red and blend it into the green that you've already got. Doing this just brings out more of the red kind of coppery tones. It's really nice because it does add that shimmer and the sparkle that you want for the wedding. And then just under the arch, go in with Estee Lauder Pure Colour Eyeshadow using number 13 Pale Moon. It's a beautiful, subtle highlighter, so it's not too in your face and it just goes with the rest of the eyeshadow. The winged eyeliners are a challenge for everyone. Gosh, it took me forever trying to master this. So what I've started doing is pull my eyes so that I can get right into the lash line. I know there's quite a lot of other makeup artists that are really good and <laughs> they don't need to do anything except literally just draw it on and ooh, they're done. But I stretch my eyes so that I can make sure that I get through because my eye creases a little bit. I'm using Maybelline Eye Studio Lasting Drama Gel in black. I also find using a really thin angled eyeliner brush or an angled brush is brilliant. 
and right now I'm going in with my concealer which I'm also using for highlighter again as you can see I'm just tapping it on with my finger because I feel like the brush just takes away everything else so the concealer that I'm using today which I find really really helpful for under eye creasing and everything is the NYX HD concealer in shade C4 oh sorry CW04 um, it's just lighter than my skin and it's just such a lightweight and beautiful product to work with. As well as dark circles, I suffer from creasing under the eye. I like to call it elephant skin because when I put powder on it, it just goes all crinkly and horrible and bleh. So I call it elephant skin, but I found that this technique really helps. So I use my beauty blender once I've applied my concealer and I just bounce it on and make sure that it's okay. To set my highlighter and concealer and baking and the rest of it and whatever you have you, I'm using NYX HD Finishing Powder in Banana. I'm doing it under my eyes, just popping it under my eyes and then I'm going into my t-zone because that's the bit that I find really oily and if I use a cream concealer I do find that it goes really shiny and not very nice throughout the whole day whereas when I use the setting powder to do the highlighting I find that it stays. So because my eyebrows are quite dark I have really thick hairs I don't like to fill in my eyebrows too much so I don't opt for any kind of liquid or anything like that. I prefer powder and the reason for this is because I feel like I can just fill in the bits that need to be filled in. It gives me more definition without looking overpowering and I'm using Pro HD Brow Palette by Freedom. It's fair and medium and it's really good because you have all these different colours so if you're a makeup artist and you are working on other people this is brilliant to use because you have every single colour in one small palette. So for my contouring today I'm going to be opting for the Sleek Face Form Contouring Palette. It's powder and it's really nice and easy to work with. What I use is a blush brush and I kind of just suck in my cheeks and go into the hollows. Now I'm also going to go under my jawline and that just gives me a bit more definition and gets rid of my double chin. I don't usually contour my nose but for the purpose of this look I just did a little bit on my nose just to kind of give it a stream. My favourite blending brush of all time. I mean I know it's a foundation brush as well but this Morphe brush is like the holy grail of blending brushes. It is beautiful and I use this with powder, I use it with cream, I use it with anything and it works like a dream, it really does. So I'm just going to use this and just blend in all of my contouring so there's no harsh lines. Using my fluffy matte brush, I'm going in with MAC Mineralized Blush in Lovejoy. I'm going in with Laura Geller um, Baked Body Frost. So I just kind of use that as a highlighter before I go in with my actual highlighter. So it's like a pre-highlighter, if that makes sense. Kind of going all across my face, just everywhere, just to blend everything in together. To add definition to the eyes and make the eyeshadow pop and the eyes pop, go in with the red eyeshadow that we had at the beginning and just line your lower lashes. And then after that, I went in with a darker colour, so I used the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani palette and used Sirius, just a little bit, just so it gives you a little bit of a darker kind of look without going in too black. Blend the colours under your lash line so it gives it a softer look and it's not so harsh. So you're just going to go over your waterline in black, so you can either use a soft coal pencil, eye pencil, or you can go in with the eye gel that you used earlier on top of your eyes. And I'm using the eye gel because I find that it, it does work really nice and it is a smoother finish. Highlighting time, I'm using New Kid Eye Glow Mini in Sirocco and I'm using a fan brush just to go over my nose my cupid's bow and my cheekbones just to give them that extra little lift. Once I get my MAC set and prime spray working I'll spray that all over my face and wait for it to dry. I'm using Urban Decay Pervasion and I got this as a tester and it is amazing. I absolutely 
love it to bits. I've got long eyelashes as it is anyway, so I'm quite lucky in that way. But I find that other mascaras really don't do my lashes any justice, but this one really gives it volume. It looks extended and I, this is not a sponsored video either. I am just in love with that mascara. I don't usually tend to wear lashes unless I am going out out. So obviously for this look, you can up to wear lashes if you want to. So I'm using Mark Wynn's International Pink Lip Liner. Now this is the most important I think when you work with lips because it helps to define your lips. It gives it definition and it helps the colour stay on. So whether you're wearing lip gloss or lipstick, it just helps to make sure that the colour stays on. So once I've lined my lips, the lipstick that I'm using is Estee Lauder's Pure Colour Lasting Shimmer um, in Candy number 16. And then I'm going to go over it with Kiko Milano's Smart Lipstick in 932. It just gives it more of a pinkier kind of coppery feel to it. I'm applying my lipstick using a lipstick brush, but that's purely for the purposes of filming today. And there you go, that's the finished look. So I've shown you a before and after picture of what I look like <laughs> without makeup and the after being the Indian Asian party look. So if you like it, please give me a thumbs up, um, any comments, any suggestions, anything else you would like to see, anything you want to know. Um, have a look at my website and please subscribe. Thank you.